We are celebrating Christmas in July, and today we're learning the best ways to keep a house clean for the holidays with Sophie Uliano and Matt Rogers. Matt, and yeah. this is so important to you. Why? Yeah, it really is. Um, you know, for for most of you out there, you guys obviously know. Um, a couple of our two youngest kids were born with a really rare genetic disease called cystic fibrosis. It's a chronic lung and pancreas disease. So for us in the Rogers house, it is like mega important to keep our kids healthy. There's Mace doing his breathing treatments. He's got to do breathing treatments twice a day to keep his lung function up. That thing he's wearing is a vest. So everything for us is key to keep our kids' lungs clean and germ-free. Because if we get the common cold, we hawk it up, we get over it, but if they get it, it's mm -hmm. like really, really no yeah. good. So oh. that's why I'm so glad that Sophie is here because I have my kids clean around the house all the time. It actually is part of their chores, like part of their daily life. And this is what we normally do, Sophie, right here. Brayden is cleaning the kitchen table. Plug, dust, and allergen. We need a germ-free house. Bucci is going to clean the countertops. This infects the lights. Kill all the bacteria. That's right. Handles. Dirtiest place in the house. So, yeah, That's you can so see important. how First of all, yeah, I yeah, applaud yeah. you that you got your kids yeah, to clean. Yeah, yeah. First yeah, of all, I do. Yeah. They know how to I'm trying to get my kids yeah. to put their dishes in the dishwasher. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> but there's better ways to clean, you say. Yes, you know, I want to show you, Matt. I've created this really great, it's an all purpose spray. It not only will make your home smell Christmassy because it's got pine in it, but also it is very, very antibacterial and antiviral. And I've specifically created this for you and your kids mm -hmm. in your home. So, very easy to make for you at home. Let's get started. Here I have two cups of very hot water. To this, I'm going to add one teaspoon of borax. I'm going to add half a teaspoon of washing soda crystals. The recipe is mm -hmm. on the website. Two tablespoons of white vinegar. Now, Matt, would you please just add to this a little squirt of liquid Castile soap? Okay. These are the cleaning agents. They're all natural and they're very effective. Now, this is the magical ingredient that I picked out for you, Matt. It is pine essential oil. Okay. Now, this is extracted from pine leaves. Let's get in nice and close there. Uh, from pine needles, excuse me. And the reason I chose it is that it is a potent antiviral agent and it's also very very good in healing for the respiratory systems really yes it's one pines good for your respiratory system. yes very very I've important never heard that so what we're going to do Matt we're going to add half a teaspoon of pine and already you're going to see look see how this smells it's Christmassy. Mm. Oh, wow. It's Christmas time. Oh, wow. So it smells lovely. so beautiful. Wow. And what I've done is I've added it to these little bottles here. They're glass bottles. And we made a pretty label. So actually, Christina, these would make beautiful gifts. And you can make they them would. ahead of time. By the way, brown time. bottle because of light sensitive issues? Exactly. All essential oils that are natural mm. are sensitive to light. And because we're making them ahead of time and we want it to last for six months, let's keep it in a dark, dark. glass bottle. Where, where, where do you get the glass bottles? Um, we just got those from a craft store. And then we just made, made these. Dave made these beautiful labels. Question for the young kids that are going around with it. Is there a plastic bottle they can use so they don't? Uh, Absolutely. Yeah. You can use a plastic bottle, but try and get an opaque one, like okay. a silver yes. one. Yes, okay. Yes. All right, okay. very good. All right. So that's for right. you, mate. Is this from you? Can you go through it? Yes, that's for oh, you. Too. My kids so, love Sophie's stuff. She's I like know. a household name. I know. The air quality they don't have any chemicals in them. No right. chemicals. Right. It's the all okay. natural. And yeah. You talk right. about their lungs, what they breathe in. Yes. Obviously. Important. So my oh, wife, for obvious reasons, has been an air purifier freak for the past seven years. i got to be honest, Sophie, sometimes, like in the early days, you'd walk in and our house smelled like a bowl of bleach. So oh. whatever it took for us to get it clean, like we did do the chemical thing, and obviously now I'm glad I'm here with you. But this bad boy, Sophie, you will love. It is the Rabbit Air Purifier. And it has about nine different filters. It makes a great gift, but you'll like it because it has a HEPA filter in it. Oh, yes. My wife knows about it, but I don't yeah. really. Why is yeah, yeah. HEPA, HEPA filter is very important to take all the pollutants out of, out of the room. It's super important for indoor air quality.
Love it. Yeah. So the, yeah, this thing is like the top of the line. It is the best for us right now. This is what we have in our house and we couldn't be more happy. And, if, and? as if that wasn't enough, there's one more thing. Um, household plants, particular ones, <coughs> are amazing for purifying the air in your mm -hmm. home. So go to Facebook because Matt and I are going to be showing you all about them and what they do. Nice. All right, to get the pine cleaner recipe, you can go to our website. And for more information from Sophie and Matt, please visit their websites. And Santa? Santa's back. Santa? What do we what do have, have up next? What do you have for us? Don't go away. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we have more. Right around the corner.